To view your security camera on an Amazon Fire device, such as a Fire Stick, simply go to the Amazon Fire's App Store and download VLC for Fire. Here you can see me viewing an IP camera on my network using a Fire Stick. Once you've downloaded and installed the VLC app, go ahead and open up the menu and visit the Streams section. Here you're going to type in your IP camera's RTSP URL address. It is a little cumbersome typing this in for the first time with that little remote control. But once you punch it in, go ahead and click Next, and boom, you got a video feed. Good news is you're not going to have to type in that address again if you want to view that stream again. There's a History section. So you just visit the History section and boom, you see your video feed. Now some of you may be wondering, what exactly in the heck is an RTSP stream? Well, I'm not going to go into depth of what that is, but I'll give you a brief explanation. Basically, almost all IP cameras and NVRs and DVRs have an RTSP stream that you can access by typing in a specific URL. Each manufacturer has their own specific, unique URL address. You can probably find yours by Googling it. However, here are just a few popular ones listed here. If you'd like to learn more about RTSP streams, just go visit our blog over at nellysecurity.com slash RTSP. If you're having video problems on your RTSP stream, such as no video at all or frozen video such as this, let me give you a couple troubleshooting steps. Open up your camera's web interface and go to the camera's encoding section. Here we're using Uniview as an example, but yours may look different. There are two settings you want to take a look at. First is the compression type and second is the bitrate. You always want to make sure your video compression is set to H.264. It will sometimes work on H.265, but sometimes it won't. It will usually always work on H.264 with an RTSP stream. Secondly, if you're getting a lot of frozen video, you want to make sure to check your bitrate. Your bitrate, if it's set too high, will cause a lot of freezing video. I normally recommend a bitrate under 6 megabits. Um, here I have it set to 4 megabits. If after a while you noticed your video screen has turned black, this simply means your fire stick is timed out. And that simply means that your RTSP stream has frozen long enough for your Fire Stick to time out. If you plan on using your Fire Stick as a full-time video displayer, make sure your camera's stream settings are set properly. Also, make sure your Wi-Fi is adequate enough to allow for a full-time video stream.